Hello to all in Georgia. I'm making a short video, which I'm not uh, real experienced at, but I'm coming to you from Kingston, Ontario, Canada. And this uh, little video is for our, my good friend, uh, Brother Toby Powers. I was requested or asked uh, nicely if there was something that I might like to say. So, first of all, I'll give you a little introduction on who I am. and I'm a born-again Christian, bought by the precious blood of Christ, the Savior. I'm uh, a human in need of God, like the rest of the world, but through His infinite mercies, uh, He spoke to me, and troubled my life. And remember the day and the time when it seemed as though there was uh, nothing left in life for me to, to offer me or to give me, but I knew Jesus was there. I was raised in a, a religious home, went to a uh, good church when I was growing up into my late 20s, early 30s. Uh, got some rebellion in my heart. Things weren't just maybe like they should have been in, in many in many situations, but went out and uh, went into sin and rebelled against the Lord and turned my life away from God. But never will forget the day when it all came down to either repent or be lost and thank God I gave my life to the Lord and I bowed on my knees and cried out and wept before the Lord and asked him to forgive me for the sin and the sorrow and the wickedness that I had committed in my life reminds me of a little verse of scripture here that I'd like to read this is over in first Peter first chapter 23rd verse it says being born again not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Thank God for the King James Version, the Holy Bible, that was inspired by holy men of old to leave a record that we could follow it, live peacefully in honor. So my, my desire today would be to say a good word for my my friend uh, Brother Toby. I met Brother Toby about 15, 16 months ago now and uh, one Sunday I was browsing the internet looking for some good old-fashioned preaching and singing. And went through a lot of different sites and finally I came across the Trumpet of, trumpet of Truth. <clears throat> so I clicked on it started listening to some of the services and some of the testimonies and some of the preaching and I was uh, quite amazed that there was still someone out there that preached and lived like this so I sent an email and since then uh, I'm a constant uh, nagging to Brother Toby I text him uh, many times each week and and uh, sometimes call him once in a while and we have a good time just conversing back and forth about many things and and uh, spiritual things more than more than any other and uh, I find a lot of encouragement found a lot of help from brother Toby living way up here I guess we're probably about 1200 miles away from you good folk down there and um, I, I can't get there as often as I'd like to. One of these days I'm going to pop in on you and, 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 and uh, be in a couple of your services just to fellowship with you. But until then, we pray for you daily and, and know that the Lord is, is leading and guiding because of the testimony that you give to me through your text and what I hear on the internet and on your site and, and the uh, spiritual inspiration that I receive uh, through you brother Toby and I appreciate the life that you live and I'm a little bit older than you not much a little bit I'm 35 and holding and um, I know you're probably somewhere around that area as well but anyway you're like a son to me and uh, I thank God for allowing us to meet even though we haven't met in person I feel like I'm I'm bound to you like David and Jonathan 
and the Lord has put a spiritual binding there between us in prayer and and uh, I know if I call on you for prayer that you're faithful to me and, and likewise we try to be as faithful as we can and offer you and your family and your church people up to the Lord and and we know that God's a God that hears and answers prayer there's there's no doubt in my mind about that he's given us so many promises and I love to read the word and study it and get close to the Lord because we're living in, in a dark hour so anyway uh, I just wanted to share another little verse with you brother Toby this is over in uh, 2 Timothy, I believe, the third chapter, the 14th verse. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Wow. Browsing through the Bible last night, looking for that verse, and came across so many good, good verses. The Bible's full of them, but some just stand out more than others, and I find sometimes that uh, can't get too far into a chapter. You have to keep going back and studying a word and studying a verse and asking the Lord to break it down and, and, and give you the meaning that uh, we have to have I can't make it without the Lord, and none of us can. We must have him daily in our lives to lead us and guide us. But uh, there's good truth in the serving the Lord. There's good truth in reading his word. There's good truth by abiding in his will, being in his love, reading his word, and, and, and longing. I love that longing when I awaken in the morning to get out and get alone with the Lord and commit my life to him daily every day say Lord I need you this day can't make it without you brother I believe that uh, it's the same way in your life I believe that you've come to the, the point in time where you know that it takes prayer and takes the Lord so I'd just like to encourage you and your wife and your children God bless all of them and your and your extended church family to stand by the truth and lift up God's name and and uh, admonish one another in the will and the way of the Lord another little verse of scripture I'd like to read for you brother Toby and the church especially the church on this one I guess this would be 1st Thessalonians 5 verse 12 and 13 and we beseech you brethren to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. Now I'm just going to tell you people you all better love him real good because I've been uh, sending him text messages and pictures of some of this weather that we have over here in Canada and some of these uh, summer nights when it stays all the way up to 59 degrees and in the daytime it get up around 80, 82 uh, I've been telling him about this and and I can feel in my spirit that he might be breaking just a little bit he might be thinking about moving over to Canada so you, you all better love him real good and, and uh, sit up straight and tall and pay real good attention and look after him and love him because he may just one of these days pick up and say I'm going on over there to Canada and be with those people over there well, we can take care of him here it's not a problem we got lots of place to sleep and good food to eat and a garden full and and uh, we can make arrangements for for the whole family so God bless you brother Toby thank you for being a friend thank you for being a brother thank you for listening and caring and answering and and uh, communicating with me and one of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way down there to Georgia I'm gonna wait till it gets cooler though because I can't take too much of that hot weather but we're going to come down and we're going to have some fellowship with you all and enjoy God's presence together. So God bless you on this day, uh, Pastor Appreciation Day, I believe it's called. And we love you and care for you and we will continue to pray for you as the Lord blesses you. Thank you. I'd like to say a word of prayer with you if I could before I leave. Father, we thank you for this wonderful brother that you've allowed us to come in contact with. and. 
Uh, though we haven't met face to face, we feel a strong bond in prayer and in faith and in love. And we just ask you today that, Lord, you would just wrap your arms all around him and hold him tight and hold him strong and hold him and give him courage and help him to stand tall and and preach the word and, and lift up your holy name and to remember that one day all that he has said and done through you there will be a reward for it. Help him Lord to preach that heaven is real, sin is black, and hell is hot, and that the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thank you for your wonderful word. Thank you for Calvary. Thank you for the blood. Thank you, Lord, that you sought us and bought us with that blood. And you've given us a hope that the world don't know about. They can't experience unless they've tasted of your love. Be with the good brother and his family. And each one there at the little church and bless them all together and may they find encouragement through you we thank you for this opportunity help us all together one day if we don't meet here we can see each other on that other side in jesus name amen <laughs>